Hi everyone, how are you? David here with a quick intro to this week's You First Weekly, which is number 26, and is all about compass setting. Now, loads of you in the You First community will know what compass setting is because you dial in live on Monday and Thursday mornings to be taken through the session with Paul. So you know that it's essentially a combination of some light stretching and um, some yoga moves and a bit of meditation, all designed to get our our bodies and our minds set up for the day and the week ahead. Um, but I sat down with Paul after this morning session really to ask him, you know, where did the idea come from? So to get get really get behind the reason why he does it and why he has brought it into his own practice and why we in in the below the line you first community do it um you know on monday and thursday mornings and um, so paul and i have a bit of a back and forth about this and um, how it has helped him how it's helped me and i hope that this video will give you an insight into really the reason behind why we do it as much as you know how it helps us so hope you enjoy it thanks for watching and see you next week it's thursday morning uh, we've just done compass setting and um, I just thought it'd be nice for people who both know us and maybe don't know us as well why we do it because um, we've been doing it now for the last six months and I've gotten huge value out of it but you know I know it's something that came from it was your idea to kind of put this in as a as an as a part of you know the UFIRST platform but I was just curious to know like where where exactly did it come from and it might be nice for people to know where that where it came from. Yeah, sure. Um, I think for, if I'm being honest, I think for a lot of my adult life, I've probably probably pushed my body a lot um, in terms of some of the stuff that I've been doing, um, trips and sports and whatnot. So I've had lots of different injuries. And um, I was probably never the best in the world for stretching and consciously stretching. So I ended up having my left hip replaced Um four years ago, five years ago in August. And as a result of that, I started a, sort of a practice of stretching and I just felt it was, it was needed and it was helping with the, um, the hip. It was helping with sort of rehab from the surgery. And it just became, I sort of realized for myself that actually, Paul, you need to be um, stretching regularly. And it's not just for a period of time with your hip. It's actually a really good, practice in terms of, of your overall um, body so as I started doing that day and I started it nearly started to become somewhat meditative in that I'd, I'd often I'd stretch and then I'd meditate but then I found myself as I was stretching I was sort of nearly half meditating as I was doing it if that makes sense I was just sort of really being coming more aware of my breath and my mind and just softening into things and I just noticed that I started to feel um, better physically um, my body felt it does feel a lot more um, looser I think um, and then I started doing the practice I suppose in the morning time and it just sort of it nearly just sort of organically I think evolved into actually this is a great way for me to set my own compass for the day so regardless of what's coming up in the day really try and be intentional around how I want to show up and how I want to navigate and experience the day ahead. So I guess I found, and as we've done it together over the last six months, you know, with others in, in below the line, the, the intention of it is to be, to start the day off sort of on purpose. And regardless of what sort of a night's sleep anyone's had or, or what's going on, it's just to really, it's really, to me, it's really about valuing the time that we have. Um, and I found that by, setting myself up and, and maybe I'll ask you in a second how you found it but setting myself up well in the morning sort of winning the morning um often most likely or most most regularly I suppose sets me up then for the day ahead um so that's that's sort of the origin of it yeah 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 and talk to me about because you, you've mentioned that before you know winning the morning what does that mean to you I think it's this morning actually is a really good example because um actually a little bit tired this morning and I've had a lot of delivery client work back you know close to back to back all week so um, this morning was an example I've had a pretty full day today and you know winning the morning for me is regardless of how I wake up is, is just intentionally saying right I'm here I'm alive I'm healthy I'm very fortunate and let me if I'm feeling a little bit sluggish which I actually was a bit this morning 
is just to nearly to snap myself out of it and just to say, right, okay, how do I want to bring myself into the day? And it's nearly like setting my mind and just setting my mindset nearly for the day. And I find that by physically moving and by, by getting some, um, some stretching in a little bit of the, some of the yoga movements that we do, it's, it's awakening myself physically. Um, and that, that playing into the mind body connection because the, you know, our, our, our bodies and, and how we move our bodies and how we use our bodies are absolutely connected to our state of mind as well. So we know that. So yeah, that, that's the sort of winning the morning, just as like, boom, right. Okay. I'm up and there. Let's go. Um, it seems to me that because I, I know I'm, I, I can do this so easily. I'm not, up, I'm not up for it this morning. So I'm just, I'm canning whatever I was going to do, but instinctively, I think I, I know now, no, you should, you know, you should switch that voice off and you should, you know, do what you were, do what you know you should do, you know, um, which is those couple of, which for me has become, you know, a version of this now because, I, you know, we do this live on Monday and Thursday mornings, but I, I know now pretty much most mornings of the week, I'm going to do this. Um, and the beauty of it is I'm not crashing into my day with the, some real physical exercise. It's I'm actually, I'm waking up and actually I'm going to take 20 minutes or a half an hour to wake up further. Mm, yeah, yeah. What the, the, I'm curious, what, what's the impact? What has been the impact for you? Or what have you thought? Uh, well, it might be the same as you, Paul, in that I, I don't think I've pushed my body to the extremes that you have. But even last year, like I had a slip disc in my back, you know, because I was cycling in and out of work most days of the week and I was running at 90 miles an hour. Um, but I, I didn't really have a practice for stretching my body. You know, I was up and I was just, like I said, crashing into my day. So, you know, like we've lived for 12 months through COVID. So, everyone's routines is, are, are different now there's you know so I suppose I've taken advantage of that time because we've been doing this now to say right I'm going to take that 20 minutes in the morning just to stretch myself um, and think about the day I want to have you know so that's been the impact so you know do I still get little you know niggles and twinges yeah but there's something about the grounding practice of just saying no I'm going to do this um, I feel better for it my body feels better and it's also just taken away that you know because i used to be right get up and get some exercise done because your day if you don't your day is gone and you won't get to do it you know whereas now i can say well no i'm doing this and then i'll do some exercise at, at a certain point during the day you know mm -hmm. so it's just been hugely beneficial from that point of view of not crashing into your day and um, giving your body some time extra time to wake up and you do that by moving and, I, you know, say, for example, you know, like I'm starting to learn then the importance of breath. So when I'm in a stretch to breathe, you know, and just lean into it a bit more, it's all that stuff. So you just, I'd say I feel a little bit, a little bit more flexible, a little bit more supple. Um, and more importantly, it, it for me, it's, it's just, it's about not having so much pressure to kind of get the exercise done. It's no, don't crash into the day, start it. And we always say, you know, to people like, this isn't a feat of strength or a test of will. Mm -hmm. No, it's not about that. It's about just giving yourself a bit of extra time in the morning to, to wake up, stretch, mentally think about, tune into where you're at and the type of day you want to have, you know, very simple stuff, but potentially very effective. Mm, yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Um, yeah, I think as well, it's because there's a, you know, there's a gang of us doing it. You know, when people dial into us, they don't, they don't need to do anything. You know, they just turn their mute button on. There's no, you know, no one's been, no one's asking anyone to share anything. Um, you can just do it. You know, you, you can be sort of led through it, I suppose. So, the, you know, there's a bit of camaraderie there, and that right to the, to the gang of us who'll be, who'll be on in the morning. So, it, it sometimes I think, or I hope at least for rather than somebody getting up in the morning going right now, I'm going to do my own routine. And, and if it's a stretching routine, brilliant. And, and yeah. there's loads of people obviously that will do their own thing. They don't have to be on compass setting. Um, but I, I, it's like, I think with any sort of class or group endeavor, um, you just need to basically show up, you know, come down into your sitting room or wherever you do it 
um, and then you know myself or yourself or anybody else will just sort of you know lead you lead you through it. Um, yeah. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier then just to 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 build that that practice of, of doing it. Yeah, because my my own version of it, you know, probably isn't thirty minutes now. You know, it is when I do it with you guys, obviously. Um, but mine is just I take some of the stretches that I know really work for me. I do a bit of meditation, and it, maybe it takes about twenty minutes. You know, but it's it's nice to do it live and uh, have a couple of maybe new movements or new stretches introduced. That 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 gives you some some ideas um, and then to be able to say okay well Tuesday Wednesday Friday morning Saturday Sunday whenever you know I can do a version of this that just sets mm. me up for the day and I just I just feel better for as a result of it simple yeah brilliant great yeah. easy so thanks for introducing it Paul and uh, yeah I hope everyone uh, gets a, a little sense of what we're doing <laughs> why we do it on Monday and Thursday mornings so thanks very much cool Nice and dead.